In this surah we will write, read الَّذِي كَذَّبَ وَتَوَلَّى The same process, except for the people who are in Quraysh right now. What does Allah Azza wa Jal say? The one who lies against the truth, just like كَذَّبَتْ ثَمُودْ فَكَذَّبُوهُ In the previous surah, just like that. But now, what crime are they gonna commit? It's not against the she-camel. What is the miracle Allah sent to the Quraysh? It was the Qur'an. So how, what, what is the crime against the Qur'an? وَتَوَلَّى And he turned away. Turned away from what? Turned away from the Qur'an. So the previous surah committed, the previous nation committed a crime against one miracle of Allah, the she-camel. And this nation is committing a crime against another miracle of Allah, the Qur'an itself. And a, a beautiful contrast has been made. In the previous situation, Allah's demand on the kuffar, on the people was, stay away from the she-camel. Stay away from it. And they rebelled against Allah and went towards it and attacked it. And in, Qur- in the case of Qur'an, Allah is not saying stay away from Qur'an, He's saying come towards the Qur'an, and they're doing the exact opposite, they're staying away from it. So this contrast has been established in these words. Interestingly also in the previous surah, we, we heard the word al-ashqa. Al-ashqa. إِذِمْ بَعَثَ أَشْقَاهَا When the worst and the most wretched of them got up to try and kill the she-camel, and the gang kind of went behind him, and they, this posse went to do this crime, this is when the messenger warned them. This surah tells us what happens to al-ashqa. So Allah Azza wa Jalla says, لا يصلاها إلا الأشقى. فأنذرتكم نارا تلظى لا يصلاها إلا الأشقى. Same exact word. No, there's no accident. Allah says, no one will throw themselves into the fire, into this blazing, flaming fire, except al-ashqa. So their behavior was mentioned in the previous surah, and the consequence of that behavior is mentioned in this surah. And by the way, in the previous surah. The consequence was mentioned, but in dunya. What was the consequence in dunya? فَدَمْدَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ بِذَنْبِهِمْ فَسَوَّهَ That when Allah crushed them and destroyed them, and leveled the ground with them, meaning He, he sunk them into the ground as a people, when Allah talked about that destruction upon them, where was that? In this dunya. But that's not enough. There's another side to it, which is the akhirah, the next side. And that's being mentioned here. لَا يَصْلَاهَا إِلَّا الْأَشْقَى Then we find... Uh, in, in the previous surah, Allah Azza wa Jal mentions, in, at the end, He mentions His punishment against the people. He mentions His punishment. فَدَمْدَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ بِذَنْبِهِمْ فَسَوَى In this surah, He mentions how He protects the people. وَسَيُجَنَّبُهَا الْأَتْقَى he, he, he wards off, He pulls you aside, away from the, the direction of harm, the most righteous of the people, the most fearful of the people. So Allah's destructive attitude towards one nation is mentioned in the previous, and Allah's protective attitude towards the righteous is mentioned in contrast in the conclusion of this surah.